Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to talk about the fastest way to complete the Cayo Perico heist, all right? This way, you can get it done in under an hour from the beginning of the setups all the way through the heist, all right? Uh, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to turn the notifications. And definitely, if you go on to enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. You know it's going to be a banger, all right? Come on. So, like I said, after you get your gather intel done, right, and I have a video on that, the best route to take to be able to find everything you need, or just be able to get right to the target, the primary target, uh, definitely check out that video. But once you get that done, this is what I want you guys to do. Now, follow this guide exactly to a T, all right? And you guys have seen me on my live streams do this. This is how I run it. Uh, this method, you will be using the Mark II. You'll never lose your Mark II, or if you, it's very rare, 99% of the time, you have, should have no problem at all. But get inside your sub, and then what you want to do is you want to spawn your sub at the beach, get in there, and you want to beach your sub. You don't want to take it all the way on the beach, though. As soon as you start to hear the sub like run aground, and you're slightly the red line, or whatever the two-tone color of your sub is, when you, when, once you start to see it kind of raise up a little bit, that's when you want to stop, all right? That is key and critical to being able to use your Mark II and not losing it, all right? So you want to do the long fin setup, okay, guys? I've said it a million times. The long fin setup is the best way to go. It's the best way to navigate the island for the Cayo Perico heist. It's also one of the easiest setups to complete for this heist as well, all right? We all know doing this high solo is the best way to do it, and getting your secondary loot first before you get the primary target is the better way to go as well. Because that way, once you get your primary target, you can just leave off the side of the island and you're done. Okay? So, do the long fin setup. You'll take your uh, sparrow over to the location, wherever the long fin spawns. There's a couple different locations. And then you land here, you send it back to your sub, you're done with it. You're not going to use it anymore, all right? Next step, you're going to call your Phantom Wedge. You need to have a Phantom Wedge. If you don't already have one, you need to buy one. You should already have an import-export garage purchased. If not, have that. That way you can store your Phantom Wedge. Go ahead and set your waypoint exactly where I did. That's where you have to take the long fin every single time. That does not change. And then, depending on whatever location you have, they're all pretty pretty simple. Just back the Phantom Wedge on up in there. Hold uh, X button on PlayStation or whatever it is on the other consoles or PC to duck. And just dip on out of there. And just follow your waypoint. I mean, the Phantom Wedge is one of the most fun vehicles to own anyways. And it makes this mission so much easier and so much more fun. However, a good thing about doing the long fin mission, you don't even need to have the Phantom Wedge. You can just steal a cab that's provided for you in this particular mission, all right? Get down to the location. Just, you know, blow yourself up or whatever. You know, if you don't have the cops on, you can just kind of wait around for a minute too. Just blow yourself up. It's a little bit quicker. And then you just run right back to the long fin, get back in it, and then you're good to go. Mission is pretty much over, all right? Get that taken care of. No problem at all. All right, once we're done with that, you want to go into your interaction menu, send your personal vehicle back. Your Phantom Wedge is your personal vehicle. All right, so you're going to send that back, return to storage, and now we call our Mark II, and the Mark II is the vehicle we're going to be using from here on out. All right, you'll call that from your mechanic, and again, the sub is already beached right there. Again, you don't want to drive the sub all the way on the beach. That It's not going to work that way. You still want it to be in the water. You just want the nose to be raised up a little bit, and this creates a solid platform for you to land your Mark II. People are like, yeah, I'll just park it next to my yacht. Well, that's not that efficient. You know what I mean? This is really the best way, okay? Just follow what I'm doing, and you better knock this out. This is the fastest, the most efficient, the best way to get these setups done. All right? Now we're off to the next mission. Follow these exactly how I'm doing it, all right? Uh, next up, we're going to go to the safe house, get the plasma cutter. Now, sometimes you don't have the plasma cutter. Sometimes you'll have to get the security code. Either way, no big deal. I'll show you that here in just a minute as well. Plasma cutter is definitely, you know, people are like, Ty, just use the sparrow, right? Well, I, I, def, I use the sparrow a lot. But I've come to find out that even though the sparrow is faster flying, it's still less efficient. The Mark II is still a better way to go. It's way more durable. Um, it's just, it's definitely better. It still is the king of all money grind vehicles, maybe besides the Kasaka, but it is. All right, for this particular mission, though, go into the safe house, just walk in, take a picture, send it to Pavel, uh, and just walk back towards the door, and you're done. You don't have to go up to the board, okay? Just take a picture right there, and you're out. Then you'll go to your next location. The game will provide that for you. 
and you just fly on over there. And everything is pretty much in the same area. That's why I like to put the sub at the beach location. It's pretty close, all right? So the Sparrow is notorious for getting messed up right here. The the Mark II is way better. You can still have some issues. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. But 9 out of 10 times, you just lob a couple of Mark II rockets. The Mark II rockets are the best, or one of the best. Very accurate. Uh, really nice to have. Get those targets taken care of. Get in there, get that bag, and just flying out of there. No problem at all. Very simple, very easy. All right? And you just go right back to the sub. Again, because the sub is at the position that it's in, it's beached right there, you won't lose your Mark II. All right? Let's pay attention. If your sub is starts to lean a little bit or tilt, just get in the driver's seat and back it up, and you just reset it, and you'll be fine. But it should you should be good. As long as you just, you know, don't throw the sub all the way up on the beach, you'll be fine. All right, plasma cutter is done. Next up, we got one more equipment. This are two, a couple more. We got the fingerprint now. Get that knocked out. Head on out. Again, the Mark II will be here. We'll be chilling. There it is. Jump on this guy. Let's go knock it out real quick. Go to the warehouse. Easy, simple, right? So with this one, uh, the the assault shotgun is going to be your best friend. You can kill the power if you want to. Again, it just takes a bit of extra time. Just get your assault shotgun out. Go ahead and just rush on in there. Just murk these dudes out. Some people are like, Ty, I use a grenade. I use this. That, that's fine. For me, though, and I think what you should try, just use the assault shotgun. Just murk these dudes out. You want, you know, I've used the grenades before. I've used tear gas before. But a lot of times you end up killing yourself, and it just takes a little more time uh, to, to get that done. All right. Take care of the hack. And then we're out of here. We go to the secondary location. And you can shoot the cameras here. You don't have to. You know, just make sure you park your Mark II on the, you know, angle it to where it's a good exit. Go ahead and get that key card. Now we're out of here. Get back on the Mark Dooski. Land it on top of the sub right here by the door. You know, just, just be a little cautious with it. Don't just throw it up there. You know, make sure it's 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 landed correctly. All right, next one up, we got the cutting torch. Now, listen, you have to go to the construction zone. There's a couple of ways you can do this. There's, a, there's several different construction zone areas to go to. You can just blow everything up and just get in there. That's fine. If you decide you want to use the hard hat, this particular location right here is always a pain in the butt, all right? There is a trick. There is a secret. It doesn't always work because sometimes it just gets bugged out. Put the hard hat on, and when you find the cutting torch, make sure when you pick it up, there's no bad guys looking at you and you're not inside their cone of vision. If you're not inside their cone of vision when you pick up the uh, the torch, you should be okay. You should be fine. And you just run out of there and then you're done. All right? I mean, I did this the other day on live stream. It seemed like 30 minutes ago I was done. It was no, no, <laughs> no trouble at all. It really wasn't. All right, jump on in there. Next up, we're, we're going to have the weapon loadout. I like the Marksman and the Conspirator. They're all pretty good. The Conspirator is probably the most popular, though. It's got the new weapon to use. I like the Marksman as well, but I think the Conspirator overall probably be you know, good to use for most people. All right, now there's two different types of missions. One is the office buildings where you go take these guys out. The other one is the Merryweather, and I'll show you that as well. All right. With this one, though, you can go in there with the assault shotgun or the stone hatchet and just go ham. I find that just doing this is a little bit quicker, though. Just mark out the two front guards. Go in here and you take these guards out. It's such a broke mission, right? These guys don't even know what's going on. Take him out. Take this guy out right here. You mark out this dude right here in the back, and you're done. That's it. That's all I got to do. Nothing else. All right? Take care of the hack. Get the guns out of the office safe or the gun safe or whatever. And they're out of here. Make sure that you go back to the roof. When you go to the elevator, there'll be a left arrow key. Get that taken care of right here. And we're back to the sub. All right, just fly on back. A couple choppers will spawn. You can just outfly those. Not a problem. All right, and after you get the weapons, uh, you're done, okay? Now, listen, if you don't have a primary target that's behind the case and you don't have to do the plasma cutter, you have to get the key codes. You go to the Diamond Casino. Park your uh, Mark II right in the same location I was at. When you find the double guards right here, just line them up for a collat. Nice little collateral right there. No problem at all. Use your sniper rifle. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. Go inside. Make sure you don't have a gun out. Find the target, dude. Mark, again, the, the assault shotgun is my best friend. Right, This thing is awesome. I love using this gun for this particular uh, heist. Take care of business. Just work your way out. And then because you park your Mark II in that particular location, as soon as you spawn outside, 
that's right, you you spawn right out here with a Martuza. So you jump on there and you're out. Easy, right? Not a problem at all. There we go, dipping out of here, and that's it. Now, for getting the weapons, you have the office uh, mission, like I showed you. You also have the Meriwether. Listen, a lot of people are like, Ty, I just like restart, I blow it up, whatever. Listen, you can do that, that's fine. I find that when I've done that or when I failed it, I get the same one over and over. So just knock it out, okay? When you spawn the Meriwether uh, chopper, there'll be three locations where you'll have to go. I just showed you where they're at right there. Uh, and when the chopper is actually spawned and you, it, you're following it or, you, you know, it's behind you or whatever, you can kind of tell where it's going to go. You can gauge the trajectory of where the chopper is going to go. So just fly ahead to that particular location. You'll see the Avenger there. You'll see some targets. Take out the guards ahead of time. Again, with the Mark II, even though you've only got 20 rockets, they're pretty accurate, so you shouldn't have a problem at all. Take those guys out. Just wait for a few moments after the... Uh, the Valkyrie lands and then just fly above it pretty high. It should alert the little guards and you get the little red targets and then you just mark them out. Jump on the Avenger. Kill the two guards there. You get the package. You get the crate. And then you got a parachute out. It's really easy. It's really simple. It's no problem at all. If you want to just, you know, blow up this mission or fail it on purpose uh, to get the uh, the office buddy one, you can do that too. But if you don't, if you want to try it or if you get it a couple times in a row, then just knock it out. It's the easy way to do it. Parachute down. Get back on the Mark Dooski. And you're out. That's it. Easy, guys. That is the fastest, the best way. This is exactly how I want you guys to try it and do it. Give it a shot. Again, do whatever you want to do. Complete the uh, the setups however you want to. But this is, you know, what I do. It's tried. It's proven. I get these knocked out in no time at all. I mean, I have literally showed you guys on my streams. You can get these done in like 30, 40 minutes. Not even that rough. I mean, it's getting really pretty quick. And that's it. So... Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. You're going to try this out. You do something different. Let us know in the comments, all right? Thank you all so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus Rose content and the game smash. I mean, it's must smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.